Hello and welcome back for another Phantom review. This time it's a big publication. Heart of Darkness, given out by Egmont. It's really thick. It has this cool wraparound cover by Luca Arbata, if I'm not misremembering. Let's take it out and see how it looks. Quite cool. I think it's yeah, and it's very inviting. You want to see what happens with the, everything of this, but it also looks really, really cool without the cover with the Brotherhood's insignia in the relief, and you have the title there, and it's, it's really heavy, and it is only published in one thousand. Uh, 1000 and they are all numbered here so that's cool also we have this foreword where Andreas talks about uh, what he knows from Klaas since Klaas couldn't write it himself sadly and we have some of these uh, Hans Lindahl covers as uh, dividers here that are from the Kronika when they were last printed in Sweden and I mean just feeling the paper and the weight this must be the most luxurious uh, Phantom release made in Sweden that I know I can't think of anything else and with the numbered yeah it's quite cool and then it is the comics it starts off with uh, Livets L that was made quite a many years before the actual Heart of Darkness. It's from 85, while Heart of Darkness started in 94. And uh, yeah, this is like a prologue or... Yeah, he first wrote this and then he fleshed it out and somehow. And uh, to be honest, this was the first time I read all of these uh, within a short amount of time. And uh, as Andreas wrote in the foreword that Klaus did not really know where it would end up when he started. But uh, in a nice way that, that makes the story less predictable. And I'm not sure I mentioned it. Uh, Klaus Rameti wrote everything. The first story has art by Hans Lindahl. And uh, Heart of Darkness and the uh, ending... A story that's called uh, something else that are about this painting that is kind of a spin-off not that one in the heart of darkness that is also all of those are uh, art by John boy box I it's hard to pronounce for me to not know how to pronounce it yeah there is one of those Lindahl paintings about the story, I I like it. It's very long. It's the longest story I've read uh, in one go, and it's it's really cool. I think it's very inspired by Indiana Jones. There's many elements that you can see from the Indiana Jones movies, like with the the Ark of Covenant and Nazis and going to Jerusalem and the staff and all of lot of stuff. There are elements from Nyan Jones, but it does not mimic it in the story. It's just inspired in my what I think. Um, let's see here. Uh, my big caveat that I have with a lot of Phantom publication is that they chose to go with black and white. I would have loved it in color, but I know there's a lot of Swedes who want to read their phantom in black and white and I guess they want to cater to them as well since we get the color in the regular comic book so it's understandable but for me I would have enjoyed it even more in full color uh, but hopefully this is only the first in many books of this style style I want more of them they look they feel great they look great it's nice to read Highly recommend it. 
if you know any Swedish that is or if you just want something big in your bookcase that's it from me happy phantoming